Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we are at a very sad stage in the country's history. I'm going to read this statement and know that it has been compiled by all of us because we want to send a message directly to William Samoy Ruto. Directly to him. Crooked Ruto is responsible for the illegal abductions and killings. Today, we stand in solidarity and empathy with all the families here and those who did not make it to come for their sons and daughters who have been abducted and have disappeared. It is devastating for a family and friends when a loved one disappears. Yet this is a harsh reality facing Kenya today. I'm very touched by the plight that has been going on and more so because Bob Jagge and the Longman twins came to visit me in Kamkunji after I was illegally arrested by the police to some of us personally. Your pain is my pain. We are sounding the alarm. We are on the edge of an abyss and moving speedily in the wrong direction. We must wake up and collectively demand for truth, for truth, accountability, and justice. Many times it is said that if it happens to one, we keep quiet. It happens to another, we keep quiet. Eventually it will land in each of our doorsteps of so-called terror suspects. We've seen it over the years. But because there is a security team that tells us that it's for our benefit, we keep quiet. Today they have extended it to people who have been peacefully demonstrating in this country. Abductions is becoming a way of life. Extrajudicial killings a way of life. This is not the Kenya. People abductions and forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings in Kenya remain a state strategy to spread terror amongst us. The feeling of insecurity and fear it generates is not limited to close relatives of the abducted or the disappeared only. It affects each and every one of us. Illegal abductions and enforced disappearances violates the right to life, liberty, protection before the law and protection from other cruel, inhumane treatment and punishment. Ab and victims and survivors like we have here. We have a young man here who was abducted all the way to Maragua. He will tell you his story. Abductions are a gross violation of the international law including it is kidnapping people kidnapping Kenyans They are a crime against humanity Family and friends of people who have been abducted and disappeared experience slow mental anguish Not knowing whether their son or daughter, mother or father, are still alive. Not knowing whether he or she is being held or how they are being treated. Searching for the truth would hold families in great danger. There are some families we wanted to visit. I myself directly, with my deputy Willis Sotiano, and I can tell you, those families are afraid. They want to meet us in private because they are afraid that the attention we may cause will victimize them, will victimize them. No order or instruction of any public authority, civilian, military, or other may be invoked to justify a form of abduction, stroke kidnapping, 
to enforce disappearance. Any person receiving such an order, receiving such an order or instruction shall have the right and duty to not obey it. Article 26 of the Constitution of Kenya guarantees every Kenyan the right to life, specifically stating a person shall not be deprived of life intentionally. Article 28 and 29 of the Constitution provides the human dignity, freedom, and security of the persons, who includes, which includes and not be subjected to torture or treated or punished in a cruel and inhumane manner. The Inspector General of the National Police Service under Article 245 of the Constitution must exercise independent command of the police. We have seen what is going on. We have an IG who stands up and says you can demonstrate. It's in the Constitution. Two days later, he's chasing everybody from the streets and his officers are shooting. Who is giving him those orders? The IG is constitutionally required to ensure the police operate with the highest standards of professionalism and comply with constitutional standards of human rights and fundamental freedoms while performing their work. In exercise of the command of the police, the IG has the constitutional responsibility to ensure that the officers commit <coughs> to protect the right of life of all Kenyans by adhering to the constitution. President William Ruto took oath and swore that he would truly and, digital and diligently serve the people of the Republic and the Republic of Kenya. He would diligently discharge his duties and perform functions in the office of the <coughs> President while doing justice to all in accordance with the Constitution and the laws of Kenya without fear, favor, affection, or ill will. President Ruto, and I say crooked Ruto, the crooked man, took oath and swore to faithfully bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and will observe, ob obey, observe, protect and defend the constitution of this country. And he will protect and uphold the sovereignty, the integrity, and the dignity of every single Kenyan. That is an oath, an oath you are swearing to God before 54 million Kenyans. Regrettably, today it can be confirmed that crooked Ruto has not only violated the Constitution of Kenya, but has contravened his oath of office. He has become a constitutional delinquent. For the avoidance of any doubt, if any of you have any, crooked Ruto is solely responsible for the abductions and false disappearances and the murders of young Kenyans, Gen Z. He has turned his police force into a political militia. Kenyans must never forget William Ruto's history. And Kenyans will never forget what he's doing to us today. Crooked Ruto is hypocritically mocking, laughing, and demeaning the abducted, disappeared, and murdered sons and daughters of this country, and their loved ones who are painfully crying daily. The only crime they have committed is exercising their constitutional and democratic right to peacefully and unarmed 
demonstrate on the streets in our country. <coughs> we will not yield to crooked Ruto's tyranny. We will not. Because to yield is to advertise to all those that have fought for the, the democracy that we have today, starting from 1920, we are telling them that we have succumbed to the will of tyranny. William Ruto will not take us there. He is no different. When you look at that man, read the history of people like Pol Pot of Vietnam, Adolf Hitler. Read the history of Amin Dada, who was just next door to us, Umar Bashir, who created atrocities in Sudan. He is no different. He's not a man to glorify. That is a man to feel shame that he represents this great country called Kenya in any position. Finally, I wish to assure the abducted, the disappeared, and their families here and home, you shall never be forgotten by Kenyans. Ruto may forget, may ignore, but we will never forget. You are the true freedom fighters of our time. You are the heroes and heroines of this country. Forgetting you is rejecting our own identity. Forgetting you is to renounce the meaning of our life. Forgetting you means that we do not even love our own families. We will keep the memory of our abducted, our disappeared, our murdered. Forgetting them is allowing Kukat Ruto to achieve his goal of erasing our loved ones from this earth. We are going to continue demanding justice. We shall relive, relive their memory as we do. The abducted, the disappeared, the murdered shall live forever in our minds, in our hearts, and etched in the history of this country. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions?